Hi guys, this is Liam, and today we're going to fold an origami Draydeca from Star Wars. So, this is the model. It's got its three legs, it's two blasters here, and its curved body. This is the back sides all tucked in. So, um, I think you'll like this model, and let's get ready to fold. So, we'll start with our square piece of paper, ideally brown, and valley fold in half, and unfold, valley fold it the other way, in half, you'll only really need the diagonal creases because it just makes it shorter. Valley fold in half and unfold. So now we have our two creases here. Now we're going to turn it so it's less of a diamond, more of a square. And valley fold these top two points into the center. Now, we're going to turn it over and fold to the center. Try to make these folds as perfect as possible because if they don't turn out as good as you can, then, um, the model might turn out too thick and um, with extra flaps. So now we'll valley fold so that this line meets that line. It'll only go up to about there. And repeat on the other side. Unfold them. And fold this way. Same fold, just in different directions. And unfold and do it on the other side. And when you're done, this fold is kind of tricky, <clears throat> but I think you'll be able to manage it. So we'll pinch right here on that line where these two creases meet, like this, and pinch on this crease, that crease, and that crease. And it will turn out... Like that. I'll repeat on the right so that you can see. So remember, pinch on center crease and bring up. Now we'll turn it over and on these creases we'll bring these lines in to the center like that 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 and turn it over and the model will look like this not so dredeca ish yet but <clears throat> we're getting close to the final product now we'll valley fold this line into the center.
<coughs> repeat on the other side just to make those creases and open petal fold on these creases Now we're starting to get the sense of the Dreideka. We have the two guns. Now we'll turn it over and do that same pedal fold. I wouldn't, unless you're a beginner, like origami, I wouldn't do these fold into the centers. You can just look at that line and bring it up there like that. And we'll do that same petal fold. You may hear some knocking around in this video, and that's just um, these two canets that are around here in Costa Rica. Daddy, Tracy has a mate. <laughs> she took it. <clears throat> so, now we have our two petal folds, <clears throat> and we'll valley fold this point down, <clears throat> then turn the model over. So, we'll start with the legs. First, we'll bring this point to this point. Valley fold. And valley fold. And now we'll do that same petal fold, I mean rabbit ear fold that we did at first to make the arms. We'll push in and move it to the side. Now we're going to do an outside reverse fold on a crease that's something like that. So, we're going to bring from this point to along that line. So, the crease will be like that. Remember to crease that hard so you, so that crease stays. Then, open it up. And on these creases, you may not be able to see them, but we'll outside reverse fold. So, the first step is to make sure that um, rabbit ear fold stays in place. See these creases. Um pinch on those creases and there is our outside reverse fold. Now we'll repeat on all the other legs. First we'll fold these flaps into the center just to make the Dredeca's body thinner. We'll just do it on that side too.
So now the side will look like this. Now we'll do that same stuff on the other side. Valley fold. Rabbit ear fold. Valley fold. And outside reverse fold. And valley fold into the center. Now the model looks like this. So, as you can see, we have its two legs, and this will turn into a third one. So let's turn it over. These steps are just a bit different because they're on different sides. And now the body is um, flat like that, and skinnier, thinner, I should say. So, valley fold. It will not go all the way to the center, but if you can make it, it's best to do that. Then do the rabbit ear fold. And then valley fold to match this leg. And outside to reverse fold. And I'll valley fold it to either leg. We'll straighten that out soon to be in the back. Now we'll turn it over. We are very close to done with our origami dray deca. So now we're going to valley fold the arms as far as they will go. Let me crease that. And then valley fold them back. And repeat on the other side. And fold back. Now we have the two arms. If you straighten them out, they look more like the arms. Now we'll um, do what's called I s either you can do a sink fold and open the two flaps up, or just do a simple squash fold. So we'll open there. And there. And squash down. Then 
the valley fold back up. And to make the eye flaps, you're going to extend this part down more, like that. And repeat on the other side. Now, we'll just give the model its 3D-ness, angle these legs around to the back, curve the head, and if you want it to look better, I recommend folding this flap down, just to not have like a torpedo on the tree deck is back. Although a torpedo tree deco would be cool. And the last step would be to open up the legs just to make them three dimensional. So, guys, thanks for watching, and here is our origami Dredeca.